Okay, I'm gonna speak on all of those divine nine Greeks that wanted to denounce your letters. How are you now that you've denounced? Have you healed yourself from the pain that you went through? Have you forgiven yourself? Have you forgiven those people? Have you learned, you know, have you grown as an individual? What have you gained out of all of that? Okay, because honestly, a lot of you people that denounced your letters, a lot of times that I see is that um, you all talk so much about how you feel that you were worshiping a false idol. You feel like you were idolizing this sorority or this fraternity. You feel like you were really placing this organization above your God. That is not true. You were not. You were not. Because you still had your faith in God. You still prayed to God every day. When you were going through difficult situations, you went to God to pray about that stuff, didn't you? You did not place this that organization before God. Do not allow the religion of Christianity that looks at everything as blasphemy to make you think that. Because the same people that sit there and go to church and don't question what the pastor preaches are the same people that will be so quick to eat that up. It's just like the same thing about how you hear a pastor talk about how homosexuality is a sin and it's an abomination and you automatically believe that without using your own proper discernment. It's the same, same type of people that will allow that to happen. It's because you all don't have a mind of your own. You all can't think clearly for yourself. You have to, you have, to have another person, another authority figure, a pastor, a preacher, somebody else to think for you. Because you cannot think for yourself because you don't want to self-reflect. Have you ever looked within yourself and thought, why did I allow myself to be treated that way? Why did I allow myself to be a part of something like this? Why did I allow this to happen? When you start asking yourself those questions, you start to realize it was because of your own lack of self-love. It's because of your own lack of self-worth. You attracted people that did not love you because you were not loving yourself you attracted people that disrespected you because you were not respecting yourself fully because you were not standing strongly in your own power so you had all these people coming around you taking away your power you were because you lack self-worth you were placing other people above you so they also looked at you as if you were beneath them it was all a reflection of what you were doing to yourself baby it ain't got nothing to do with you idolizing. See, that's the thing. Y'all want to look externally at everything else, y'all Christians, but y'all don't never want to look within. Y'all think y'all holier than thou, and y'all walk around, y'all go to church once, once a week, but then y'all don't do no type of self-reflection of looking within. Because I guarantee you, y'all sitting here blaming it on idolization, which you got to look within the mirror because you were the person that went to those. You were the one that was a part of that whole entire thing. It was a part of you that was broken that allowed you to deal with that kind of stuff. So look within yourself and ask yourself why. Because I'm honestly denouncing ain't going to fix the problem if you ain't doing the inner work, bro.